We actually got an enemy group. Well, we start with one of the legendary dragon spirits. So, I always said these cards were bad and constructed because the dice trigger isn't happening often. But this is a 4 mana 4 4 flying trample. That's already good enough and limited. If it dies, it gets you plus 2 cards or it gets you plus 3 mana. Amazing. I, I don't think there's a card. Like, the only cards that compete with it are other rares. Um. <clears throat> yep, hey, how's it going, Lambert Droid? I'm usually asleep by now. I just. I wanted to do this. I So I took a nap early because I didn't feel like my mind was up to it just yet. Um. I might just get Siftwar Cliffs when this rotates back around. A lot of white, preferring the moths will be nice. Upriser Renegade might be good. <coughs> this doesn't really push my deck anywhere other than red. Uh, Prodigy's Prototype is a nice card. Like, all these cards are good. Um, as long as this isn't getting killed, it's constantly spawning creatures, so... <coughs> also, Ninja's Kunai is a card that's underestimated. This might come all the way back around because no one sees that Kunai is a 3-mana kill spell. Alright. Fall of Lord Conda, this is a 3-mana kill, a 4-mana card, so it's once I get once I fall behind, this puts me back ahead by drawing me a card and killing a target. The thing is, you can't play this on turn 3, and that's worth noting. Um, as for red cards, just Experimental Synthesizer, I'm not an aggressive enough deck to want this sort of effect. Um, sorry if I'm going fast, but there's only so much time, and this is the wordiest set in the game, so can't really go too long. Upriser Renegade? I might just choose this because it's a 2-mana 1-3, and then if I end up in the modified deck, it's fine. If I don't end up, it's fine. It's playable. I'm, no, I'm going to go with the greatest value. Gloomshrieker is a little too hard to play, I think, for me to pick on p pick 2. So I'm going to go with Fall of Lord Conda. It's easy to play. If I end up in red-white, that's perfectly fine for the Samurai deck. <clears throat> this is also pretty freaking fine if I am in the Samurai deck. Huh. This is higher value. This is more easily playable, no matter what I do. I'm going to go with Uprising Renegade, just because it's a little easier to play no matter what happens. March of Reckless Joy is just a reckless impulse. Don't think of anything more of it. Mobilizer Mech's a great two-drop. Um, Secludes Courtyards. Mana Fixing if I'm the Samurai deck or something. Golden Tail Disciple shouldn't be underestimated. I think I might just pick Mobilizer Mech, because it allows me to play that deck if I need it. Um, Scrapyard Steelbreaker is a nice 4-drop, but I already have the nicest of 4-drops. <coughs> Shower State Error needs to be, like, your finisher. I'm not really into that, right? I don't know that I'm that aggressive just yet. Um, let's see. St Secluded Courtyard could be nice. Um, and March of Reckless Joy, I'm not against, but I just don't... Like, this card isn't good naturally, is the best way to describe it. You can't exile lands, so you have to exile actual cards to get more lands. You only play up to two of those cards. It's better to just get good bodies. Mobilizer Mech's actually a good body. <clears throat> Alright. Imperial Oath. Just big late game. Wanderer's Intervention. This is a kill spell. <clears throat> Sky Swimmer Koi. Whatever. For artifacts. Um, it loots with artifacts. I might pick that. So, right now, it's between... My mind is between one... So, I'm looking at a lot of these cards. This is just a two-drop. It's not really gonna... The cost to pay two is too much. Duplicate Saga? Oh, Shattered States Error. Yeah, because it's a bad Saga. It gets, it's a five-mana threaten effect, which, at three, those are sometimes playable. And so, every one of its effects is... This is supposed to be the last trigger where it wins you the game. Why are you not finished the game on the first trigger? Because you spent too much mana on it. So it's really... It's not a good card. Every effect is better at ending the game. Every effect gets slightly worse at winning the game. I'm just going to go Skysquimmer Toy. 4 mana, 3-3 three, three flyer is good enough. Um, encourages me to go more artifacts. Futurist Operative. Disruption Protocol. I like counter spells, so I'm not against this whatsoever. Futurist Operative. I mean, honestly, 4 mana, 3-4 might not be bad. It always gets in, but I don't really have anything... Is that a third? Yes, yes, that's a third Shared States. Because it's not that good, Lambo Droid. <clears throat> it's a Threaten for two mana too expensive. Then it's a buff spell that they see coming. Then it's a 3-3 three, three on turn 7. This is not a good card. I think I go Futurist Operative. Because one of the things I didn't even think about, this could crew Mobilizer Mech. Then I could untap it 
to still attack that turn. Or to still... Like, this could be used to crew, not to attack for one damage. Um, Disruption Protocol, I think a lot of people hate counter spells, so I'm actually going to get that rotated back to me. Mirror Box, love this card, not for limited. Um, Aki Ember Keeper could... I remember that one when you revealed the cards. Yep, yep. Dragon Spark Reactor, we are starting to get some artifacts. Um, we want artifacts with Sky Scrimmer Koi. Atsushi will give us three artifacts as one of its triggers. Um, Mobilizer Max wants us to pick artifact vehicles. So, Dragon Spark Reactor is not too bad. Aki Ember Keeper is more for a different deck, but it is a two mana two one. Ninja's Kunai, as I said, this is better than you think, because one, it modifies, two, it's a, basically, think of it as a 3 mana kill, 3 damage spell. We are in red, so I don't think that's as important. Um, I'm going to go with Aki Ember Keeper, just because it's always good. It's always like a 2 mana 2 one at the very least. Alright. We're starting to get to the point where I'm feeling good if we pick, um, like, Experimental Synthesizer. Planar Incision. Do I have anything that's Exotic Target Artifact Creature... No, I, I'd rather just get Experimental Synthesizer, possibly get some card advantage, possibly get a creature. Ambitious Assault could be good if I start getting more modify effects. Um, Iron Apprentice is a modified creature. Another, I've, I'm, I'm just... Wicked Awareness is kind of a kill spell. Hmm, I'm gonna go with the Experimental Synthesizer because it's just easier with more of the artifacts. Yeah, this is just a plain plains, a plain forest. Um, there's always a land in these packs, and that happened to be the land of that case. Brute Suit might actually be good, because we want Reza's crew vehicles. Moonful Puzzle Maker blocks a lot of things and can scry. Um, it is an artifact creature for some of our artifact-desired creatures. Hmm. Brute Suit or... I think I'm committing to this color combination too early. Yeah, I'm gonna just grab Long Reach because I think this blue might not be the correct path. Alright, we are now back to my pack. Ninja Kunai made it back. Um, Spell Pierce made it back. I think I'm gonna go with an, either the Ninja Kunai or the Seven Tail Mentor. I'm sorry to think, yeah, I can't. I just went blue because it felt right, not because it was right. Um, red is correct. Red definitely has felt correct. So I'm just trying to figure out, do I want Seven Tail better? Do I want Ninja's Kunai? I'm going to go with Ninja's for now. It just goes well with no matter what. Explosive Entry. If they have an artifact, this is an amazing card. I want one in my deck. I already have an Experimental Synthesizer. I could just force myself aggressive with an Experimental Synthesizer. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not, but the fact that I can makes me kind of want to try it out. It's not the, the Gucci. Explosive Entry could be really good, but I don't want too many, because they might not have things. Scrapyard Skill Breaker, perfectly fine as a 4-drop. Spell Pierce might not have a target, because a lot of creatures are artifacts and such. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the Skill Breaker. And this basically encourages me to constantly go aggressive and go artifact-based. Dramaticist Puppet. I'm honestly considering the puppet over Shared States. Because I'm... I didn't get a Shared States back around. Wow. But anyways, Disruption Protocol, just to show how much um, people don't like counter spells. Lizard Blades, just to encourage me to go even deeper red, along with a Voltaic Surge. But yeah, Lizard Blades, Double Strike. This is a better Flame Shrieker. It's a two-drop. We've got another Shared States for next time, but I really want to get this Voltaic Surge back. I don't think we will. Cyber Trespassers is okay. I think we might be playing an aggressive deck. We're definitely red. I just don't know what our other color is. Invigorating Hot Springs would be great if I could suddenly turn green, but I'm not sure I can. I'm just going to go with the Twin Shot Sniper. Um, it's a kill spell. It is a small creature, but a creature nonetheless. It fits with my artifact synergy. Um, Moon Circuit Hacker is not bad at all. We have already... Yeah, we're we're low on three drops of all things. Alright. Kumano faces Kakazan. This is just a good card. Um, It's between this and Voltaic Surge. 
Well, take Surge is a, get a kill spell, and with our artifacts, it actually does some serious stuff on top of that. Kumano is going to give any two-drop creatures we play more threat. Um, so yeah, it's Kumano or none of the glue good blue sagas. Yep, nope, not yet. Not yet. This is a tough one, but I do like this aggressive deck we're building. I think Voltaic Surge synergizes more with the deck we're building, but Kumano is just a naturally better card. And that's the big question. Which would we prefer? Oh, I see why it's Assassin's... Why they chose Assassin's Eek, but I just have no reason... This is the only reason to go black. I don't think it's strong enough right now. Invoke Calamity, we're not that red. We're not that red. Rugged Highlands allows me to splash green if I need to. Moon Snare Prototype. I honestly think it's the Ninja's Kunai again. This is... We're going way too aggressive. I'm not denying that. But... I think we have the ability to go aggressive. I'm going to try it. I could... I could um, end up getting wrecked. That is definitely a possibility. I will not deny that. But, yeah. Ninja's Kunai is perfectly fine. Mirror Shell Crab. I love this card. Um, Gift of Wrath. Yeah. This is a counterspell, and it could be a finisher if I need it. I like counterspells. We get aggressive in the early game, and then we carry them in the late game. Sucks if we get off of Experimental Synthesizer at Sushi, because I don't think... Yeah, you may play that card. You can't activate the abilities of cards. You can't discard it from your hand. So that is a non-bow. That is a, ca a weakness. Um, I kind of want to consider just seeing if we could jump into green, grab the Kappa Tepkrucker. Um, yeah, we'll try it. Ah, come on. Alright. Red's starting to dry up, and that's scary. I think we're going to pick the two drop, because we need two drops. Um, Moon Snare Prototype could be fine later on, but we're not... I, I think it's not so good that we want over two drops. We still need three drops. We have some weird cost issues. Alright. Tamiyo's Completion might just... Be, yeah, is a kill spell. We drew up to tar this is a ninjutsu trigger. Kind of nice. Kind of. Um, Saiba Trespassers can channel, but I think it's Tamiyo's Completion. How many Ember Keepers I have? Wait, hold up. I could do this. One, two, three, four. Alright. I think I go with Tamiyo's Completion because it's a kill spell. Alright. Network terminals, not really where our deck's going. I'll grab another Futurist Operative, just get ourselves more value. We've kind of committed to this color set too early, but we got Voltaic Surge, so maybe it was the correct pick anyways. Voltaic Surge is just a kill spell, then later on we could sacrifice an Experimental Synthesizer to make it a better kill spell. Let's talk about Voltaic Surge fits better for our deck, but Kumano was a better card. We got both now. That's awesome. I'm really happy to see it, because if the, there were mother, other Voltaic Surges, if we get like three of these, I think our deck's like complete. We're at 19 of 20 cards. If we could get that to 24, that'd be great, because we want to get to 24 because to make this a playable deck. We want to get... if. We are done with our late game with seven four drops of two experimental synthesizers. Um, Papercraft decoy, I'll pick, but it probably doesn't stay in the deck. The fact is, it basically when it dies, you can pay two. It's supposed to be when you ninjutsu it, it pays two, but we don't have any ninjutsu right now. Um, Futurist operative is good even without ninjutsu. Mobilizer mech, but we have no nothing to crew as well. But that's okay. This is just a 3-mana three 3-4 three, flyer. Arm Guard Familiar is great. Arm Guard Familiar is great. It's a 2-mana two 2-1. Two it also has a reconfigure for late game, which reconfigure becomes great. Um, yeah, so I'm happy with that. We're keeping our curve low. We are definitely the aggressive deck. The double experimental synthesizer re is rewarded. Um, these are all commons. I'll just pick Shrine Steward because it can actually do something in this deck. Alright. Mirror Shell Crab. Probably gonna have to get pulled out, but I love that card. Commune with Nature. We are an artifact deck. We have 11 artifacts, just to put into perspective. 
We have 11 artifacts in this deck. Alright. Yeah, no, feel free, Mathematics, to read as much as you need to. I understand. Rewarded. 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 Alright. Other than that, I'm hoping to get this explosive entry, because I think it's about time. But yeah. So this is going to turn our artifact creatures into 4-4s. Four or it's going to give us some card draw. Or, yeah. And it's also going to make this miracle trap... It's going to make our abilities just cost super cheap. Yeah. We don't have anything for anchor, but... Yeah. The laughter is intoxicating. I think we want the mnemonic sphere, just as more card advantage. Um, either that or it's moon snare prototype, just to get ourselves more mana. Ooh, Iron Hoof Boar as a finisher. We might already be pulling out the Mirror Shell Crab, though. Yeah, we have two Mythics at the top end. Reality Heist. I mean, we do have ten artifacts. And it is always drawing gas, but I think I'd just rather have the cheaper artifacts that I can use for other abilities if I need to. Um, we have twelve creatures already. I think that's going to be enough creatures. Um, also, Kumano is an additional creature. The Explosive Entry could be great. Yeah, I'm not sure if I wanted that card drop. I wanted more cards. We need three drops. This is a perfect three drop. It cycles itself. It, it gains us a little life. The Gated Life doesn't really matter. Kami of Industry as the top end. Um, if that rotates around, we'll definitely take it. I'm just going to pick the Circuit Mender because we need three drops anyways. Disruption Protocol. Moon Circuit Hacker. I'm kind of interested in the Moon Circuit Hacker. This is just a good card 300% of the time. If you attack and it um, brings back a creature with a good battle cry, it's gr it's amazing. <sighs> yeah. Or I could just pick the Kami of Industry and be confident in my deck archetype. Huh. I don't like Awaken Awareness. I'm not going to use it to as a kill spell. My creatures are too small for that to actually change things. This is either Disruption Protocol or Moon Circuit Hacker, I think. No. I'm going to go with this because we already have a Disruption Protocol. And we're already at 25 cards, so we're just kind of deciding what cards make it in now. Another Ninja's Cassette. I think it's the Brute Suit. We need more 3 drops. Iron. So, Iron of Boar, again. Big finisher, but we already have enough of that. I'm going to go with the Brute Suit. And then just Kunai, again, good card. Is it better than Brute Suit? It, if we treat it as 3 mana. If we treat the Ninja's Kunai as 3 mana. Hmm. Also, Automated Artificer is not bad. We'll pick the Kunai for now, but... There was a potential there. Because the Kunai allows us to play Ambitious Assault, but we might want to just pick Modern Age... Or something? Huh. We're trying to figure it out. We are trying to figure this out. Um, we could pick another Mnemonic Sphere, make sure we have enough card draw. Vicious Assault is okay. Modern Age gives us access to a Flyer. And helps us loot to our victory win conditions. I'm going to go with Modern Age, but I'm not so certain about this. It's, it's an okay Blue Saga. It depends on your deck, Blue Saga. Mech Hainer, I mean, we're at 27 playables. So, we're not really worried about playables. Iron Hoof Boar, having one of those in the sideboard to possibly play seems pretty nice. But Mech Hainer is just... It's an easy way to activate our Mobilizer Mech. It's not the Invigorating Hot Springs at the very least. And Mech Hainer always makes the cut, I think. Kamano faces Kakazan. Perfect. Just more of that aggression. Yeah, we're the aggro deck, just 100%. Alright, Explosive Entry gives us a kill for artifacts. We want one. Alright. Do we want two, or do we want the Moon Snare prototype? Moon Snare allows us to ramp, but into what? Just other cards? I, actually, I'm not sure if Mechainer even makes it. Oh well. I already picked it, it's an uncommon draft then. 
You want me to grab an iron hook boar? We'll forget you. <laughs> no, it might be fine. Call me of industry could be a top end, though. Cyber trespassers could be playable. All right. No. <laughs> um. Sure, fine. We're aggressive. We'll grab one boar. We're at 34 cards. 33 because one's a land. And I'm actually going to move that back because we only have one vehicle. Yeah, we only have Mobilizer Mech, which you might think, oh, it doesn't combo. It's not good. No, it's 2 mana 3 4 flyer. It's a great enough card. Oop. All right. Well, we are the aggro deck, so we could definitely play 16, if not 15, lands. Okay. Oh, yeah, by the way, I got the good lands. Um, let's see. Cards that aren't good enough. Cyber Trespassers, I don't think. Um, Iron Hook Boar is the beta bull. We're going to knock it out for now. Um, we have 14 artifacts in this deck, so I think any artifact synergy card is perfectly fine. Um, Scrapyard Steelbreaker or Futurist Operative. One of them might not make the cut just because we have so many. Um, Skystorm or Toy is more looting. Yeah, we'll take out Futurist. We might take out two Futurists. Yep. There we are. So our curve right now is at 2.2. We are a very aggressive deck, and I'm happy to say it. Papercraft Decoy. Upriser Renegade doesn't have enough targets. Um, I think you go Type creature. There we are. So this is all things that aren't... Okay, so Mobilizer, Mech, and Tezzeret are kind of lies here. <laughs> I like this deck. You haven't even played the batch yet. Anyway, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4... We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2... 8, 9 early game plays, basically. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 finishers, I feel. Um, I actually feel like this Scrapyard Steelbreaker doesn't make it either. We're aggressive as is. Um, a key Ember Keeper is a modified theme that helps us a little bit more than the previous. I think Paper da Craft Decoy, we have enough of these two drops. Um, Moon Circuit Hacker can like bring back Kumano or... Otherwise, just be a card that needs to be blocked. We, yeah, we won't have the two mana open, basically, most of the time. For three, one, two, three. I'm actually going to take out one experimental synthesizer. I think our deck is good, it's fast, but not that fast. So the question is, are we aggressive enough to just go 15 lands? Because I think the answer is yes. So the curve is now 2.2. There is 44, 40, 44. All right. We might. So it's either we go 15 lands or we knock out this disruption protocol. I think that disruption protocol is going to just randomly get us the win. So I'm... Loot Snare Prototype, yeah, we're not... We are the aggressive deck. We're not wrapping it to anything. And... Minus one land. Alright. Here's the deck. Hyper Aggressive. Artifacts. We have ten artifacts, ten creatures. Seven enchantments. And a Planeswalker. Alright. But yeah, the feat of, of White Tezzer is good. Is you just minus two it, enter the circuit vector to a 4-4, four, four, then they just die. Does it have to be... Yeah, or the Ninja's Kunai into a 4-4, or the Armguard Familiar into a 4-4, or you just per internally crew the Mobilizer mech. Like, oh, you could turn the Experimental Synthesizer to a 4-4. But yeah, um, for card advantage, we have 1, 2, 3. I'm counting card selection as card advantage, so 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, we have enough card 
selection. We have, yeah, I think we're good. We're going to try it out. We could end up modifying the deck as time goes on, but our draft deck is all five colors. Nope, not blue, green, not blue, red. It's five color. Thank you, Log Reach of the Night. All right, let's go. Seems insane. We don't know the format well enough to confirm that. And if we get our, if we get our combination of stuff in the wrong order, seems insane. Will end up not paying off properly. The kunai being like treated as three drops, I didn't. Um, does kind of mess with the curve in a way that I wasn't considering. I won't deny that. All right, so we have a ninja's kunai into Aki Ember Keeper. I'm good with that. Insane in theory, yep. I'm hopeful. I am hopeful, Lamba Droid. I hope you are correct. All right, Iron Apprentice. That is actually pretty darn bad for me because it can stop my Aki Ember Keeper. Well, if it dies, I get I could equip the ninja's kunai to it and attack, and if they kill it, I get a one one, which means I kind of two for one for the most part. Thank you, Roman. Um, I might just sacrifice the kunai to kill the Ronin. Or I could equip it and twin shot sniper to kill the Ronin. Get myself a 1-1. One, one. Keep myself the kunai. I'm going to equip the kunai and I'm just going to end my turn with a twin shot sniper as a backup plan. Um, we are mana flooded. We are mana flooded. If they attack with just the Aki and I'll take the damage. I'm okay with that. If they don't do anything that I feel needs to be respond to. Alright. Now I can... Alright. Which is, do I want to use the Ninja's Kunai? Or do I... Alright. Oh, I could hit face with that. I had no idea. I probably should have killed it before they attacked, but I had no idea. I'm not sure how the organization here works, so I might have not been able to um, kill it in response to them paying the mana. And now I'm just going to Twin Shot Sniper, give myself an okay body, and kill their Precious. And now I could get in. I have a Camus completion. Oh yeah, these lands, I paid like... 25,000 gold in this game to get those lands because I love them so much. Because I thought they were so great. Alright. Now we reveal we were the aggressor all along. We are actually kind of equivalent on cards. Um, in case you're wondering, this is just a kill spell with flash. Battle boar. I can't um, do it fast enough before they could crew it. Yeah, so this is a card that will give them value in the late game and stops me right now. So I'm just getting that out of the way now. If they crew the Brute Suit, then they the Brute Suit just uncrews by this turn. Yep. So now I have a mobilizer mech. I don't think it comes to play with a plus one plus one counter, unfortunately. We want to keep this land in our hand because we have cards that allow us to draw a card and then discard a card. Um, if they end up having ways to trigger their brute suit, we can instead just use our abilities to crew the um, mobilizer mech to give us flying. He has a commies fire. Fortunately, this is not modified because it's my ability that's doing it, not his. So I don't take any damage. Alright, so they made a 2-2, so I'm going to be killing them over the course of the next three turns using the Mobilizer mech, because they have a way to accrue the Brute Suit. Alright, and we're going to start with the Modern Age. So yeah, because they can crew the Brute Suit, I'm not attacking into this, I'm going to be using the Mobilizer mech to get through. And I have enough health that I think I could just take the hits from the, sa the Vigilant Samurai. Ooh. So 
So I can reduce my clock by one to get myself a card advantage. I think that's worthwhile. This only costs two, so I can just play it again. Um, I am down one turn in the initiative, but in like the speed at which I win the game. But they can't stop me. I'm getting more pressure on board, and I'm drawing cards to get myself to the end game. All right, I'm at 19. They're at seven. They are going to be able to attack me for four each turn. Yep. Katana triggers. Next one, Koi. Great flyer. Alright. So I'm actually going to play this guy, Skrimmer, Skrimmer Koi, crew it, and then just attack with everything to try to threaten lethal. So, yeah, we're dealing three in the air, guaranteed, and then we have six threatening on board, which means they have to block, and currently that means they need a response, because, yeah, this will, if they have no cards in hand that actually deal with a situation, um, that's lethal, right here. That's four here, that's three. Good game. All right. Aggressive deck works. What does crew mean? All right, yeah, I'll pull it up so you can um, read it properly. So, crew, um, tap any number of other creatures to control with total power equal to the number. This vehicle because of an artifact creature. So they're not creatures. You have to crew it to become a creature. So I need three power to turn this into a 3-4 flyer. That's why that one turn I had to use both of these, because neither of these have a power of three or greater, but by their power combined, they could crew the mobilizer mech. But when I got Skysriver Koi out, they already have three power. This is not... This is not ask that the characters have summoning sickness, so I could just immediately tap this to crew the mobilizer mech and get in. The reason um, I couldn't attack in when he had the samurai is because the 2 2 could crew the crew 1 for the brute suit, so this was basically a 4 3 even before that. Yep, basically they pilot it. So, yeah. Enraged Monkey 8. Alright. 2 drop. 3 drop. Um, 2 drop. This is a turn three play, it's a pretty bad one, but like if we draw a mountain, we have Atsushi. If we don't, we have Sai Squimmer to pilot the mech. So I'm keeping it. Might not be the best, though. No denying that. Alright. I'm playing this one first, because if they don't have a play here, if they like play a two mana saga, I get to get some aggression in. Circuit hacker. So, alright. I like this slightly better. I'm actually going to be playing the nin... Alright, so do I play the mobilizer mech? The... I think I... Do I... Am I okay with them drawing a card and discarding a card? I'm not okay with what, what gets through. I think I am blocking. Do I need the 1-1 one, one, or do I want the mobilizer mech attacking early? I'm going to do this to just guarantee I have the threat. So now I can throw the kunai if they try to do something to my Ember keep Keeper, or I could just let it die, get a 1-1. One, one. Yep. Kill your guy there. Get myself a spirit. And it phases out, so I can't target it this turn. Gonna get the Sky Squimmer Koi down. Alright, so we can kill Kaito with just the Sky Squimmer Koi, or with the Tamiyo's completion. So Tractor Max is gonna kill the 1 1. Alright. They're trying to keep this guy alive, which makes me kind of want to just play Tamiyo's Completion and kill it. Um, otherwise, you can mobilize your mech, equip this, and attack. Um, 
And in case you're wondering, the reason I completion it now is just to make sure I don't have to deal with that later. It gives them... It's going to give them a loot. I don't care about a loot. I don't care about a loot. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. We're going to equip that. We're going to kill Kaito over the course of a few turns. If, so if he plays a creature with four power, I made a mistake. That's okay, Kaito's dead next turn. That does not have enough power to crew the mech. Alright, so yeah, Kaito was three loots. Alright. They're holding up a counter spell is the main issue. So I'm going to attack first, actually. Um, do I want the Mobilizer mech killed or the Skyswimmer Koi killed? Um, I think the Mobilizer mech. No, no, no. I want to use that mech to block later. So we're going to kill Kaito. But yeah, leaving three mana open really scares me from doing anything significant right now. I'm going to leave up the Tamiyo's completion, actually. But yeah, I'm not playing into three open mana against blue. Especially when two of that mana is blue. Bada be, bada buy. Um, I could Tamiyo's completion this right now. Prevent it from... They have to discard a creature card to kill my Skyscrimmer Koi. And I'm okay with that. If they if they are losing cards to get this, I'm okay with that. If they Ninjutsu, I'm pretty sure I could Tamiyo's completion and deactivate some effects. This is definitely dangerous anytime you let the Ninjutsu through. So they have to discard a creature to kill my Skyswimmer Koi. Alright, so they lost their card advantage engine. That's what I see from this. Yep, perfect. So now they tapped out. I get a kill spell for their, their Shadow Walker. Sushi to play it. Um, I'm playing it now. Unfortunately, I cannot. Um, we're going to play this slower. We're tied in mana value. And it's just, we're going to win in the late game, actually. Thanks to Atsushi, the modern age. We have enough resources. If they try to tap down. Mobilizer Mac holds them back. Alright, we're going to start with the modern age. And I think we tap double blue since we have the island. So do we want to Voltaic Surge, or do we want a Circuit Mender? If we Voltaic Surge, we do it now. I think we Circuit Mender. Um, submit zero. There we are. All right, that's dead. That's four. Whew. Let's see. They now have the card advantage, but we have all the board. Don't need more kunai. I think arm guard familiar is more important to protect the circuit mentor. That resolved very quickly. Um, I'm playing both, and it will become a parrot sec, because now I can use them to crew. And we're kind of threatening lethal, lethal very soon. Alright. So here's a cool theme. Let's see. I can equip that. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, or I can accrue here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Ooh, 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 I found it. I found the line, I think. Okay, so now it's a three, four. But now I can arm guard familiar, turn this into a four, four, or I could turn this into Yeah, I like that. And they have to block the this. Yeah, they block so that chops. And now they're at one health. I have a ninja kunai which I could throw for a point of damage. So I think that's game. I don't see how they deal 20 damage or get rid of the ninja kunai this turn. Even a board clear doesn't work because of the arm guard familiar. You could rest out. You did your job. He's like, I can survive. What are you going to do? Are you going to kill at sushi? Watch how that has out for you. Oh. Yeah. There's like, I had three different ways of winning that game. So I didn't really worry too much. No more lands, please. I have Tezzeret to help me cycle. So I've got to keep this. It also allows me to turn my ninja's kunai into a 4-4. Four four. I don't like how log it's going to be before I play my first creature, though. That I really dislike. We might just channel this to get rid of a... Alright. Well, they're going value. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're probably just going to play Tezzeret and immediately minus two to turn the kunai into a 4-4. Uh, four, four. Starts swinging in while Circuit Mender holds off the first striker and keeps it from killing Tezzeret. Now it's still Kieran. Alright, change of plans. Yeah, I think I just twin shot sniper, kill the cloud steel before it can like get on anything. All right. We have too many lands. Tazrit can turn them both into non-lands. I think this kunai is better used to just chuck at um, this kitsune. And now I can't attack because... Well, I can attack. I'm just wondering if they realize it. Explosive Fury. Explosive. Okay. So I get Explosive Entry, kill that. Turn this to a 3-4. So, first things first. I kind of like equipping the kunai to this. Question is, do I need to... What am I playing around? What could hit me? Nothing I'm scared of. I should have explosive entry first, anyways. So if they double block, I kill the Blade Blizzard Kitsune. Hey look, if they didn't see it, they didn't see it. This is even add mana right now, so it's not a threat. We're going to use the explosive entry to kill an artifact creature.
we are. We are done playing lands, so we can now loot away lands without issue. Um, disruption protocol will help us kill a threat if it comes in time. Alright. Fair enough. Well, I'm glad I did this. How many lands? Okay, three lands in the grave so far. Alright, I'm going to leave up the disruption protocol, so I'm going to attack with a circuit manager without playing explosive entry to train this guy bigger. But I will want that to help deal with a vector glider. But yeah, now we can Disruption Protocol any spell they play here. That's a threat. Save your counter spells. I could get an Emblem. I don't think I want the Emblem, though. Draw a card, then discard a card. Thank you. Alright. Aki Ember Keeper. Did they play three sagas? One, two, three. Yes, they did. They've already played three sagas. Alright. I like this. This scares them. I made this one especially for you. They have to double block to kill, or they take ten. I'm happy with that. All right, let's tap properly. No, 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 no. This is an artifact creature, so I can use disruption protocol to counter a spell still. I'm happy using an Eki Ember Keeper to block the Moon Circuit Hacker. Alright, they're playing something for 7. Thank goodness I have Disruption Protocol still. Yeah, that was about to be a 6-6 six, six flyer. Go. Then we start by drawing two cards. Okay, so I can discard this artifact. Use Kami of Industry to bring it back, I think. Or I could... Bring back the ninja's kunai. I mean, we're discarding the experimental synthesizer either way. The question is just, what do we bring back with it? Yeah, I think I like this play. So, we're going to bring back... Ooh, it costs one less. Oh, if I tapped properly, I could have actually sacrificed the experimental synthesizer as part of this. Oh, well. We are going to bring back the kunai as kill spell. The first trigger is free. So we can equip to Aki Ember Keeper, or Arm Guard Familiar, I think. We'll kill the Vector Glider, and then we keep moving in. There we are. Yeah, it must feel real bad to have a big card come out, only to have it nullified. That's why counter spells are great, and it's also why people hate the game for having counter spells. It's a love-hate relationship. Yep, and so this was going to sacrifice it anyway, so pulling out the kunai was the plan there. Okay. Yep, they just kind of realized, look, 
You're running out of resources. I was going to Explosive Frenzy that thing, turn my Vector Glider into a bigger threat. Yeah. Tesseret did its job. It gave me all the card advantage I needed for the rest of the game. Bahamut. By the way, can I just state that even though it's so late at night and such, we are getting all the people just showing up right on queue. No need to wait. Alright. I'm playing one of these two first. I then get a play I then get a like flash and moon circuit hacker, draw a card, and then play them again. One of these has got the gun. Ooh, scary. Let me return the favor. Oh my gosh, I could get myself a 2-2 double striking lizard blades. I think I'd do the 2-2 double striker to stop their aggression in its tracks. If they play a 2-1 creature here, like Aki Ember Keeper. Yep, I'm going to do the lizard blades. Um, it's going to come in as a 2-2 double striker, and that should stop them in their tracks. Because double strike means that I win the trades. Next, I'm going to play Ar Aki Ember Keeper, I think. They have to kill Lizard Blades, basically. If they don't, like, this is all the threat in one. Ooh. And I think that, that might have won them the game, honestly, just killing that Lizard Blades. So I could attack Exile of Moon Circuit ha Hacker, replay Kumano, or just, um... An Ember Keeper and such. I think that's the most efficient way to spend my mana. And this even gets me the Kumano back, which gives me plus one plus one counters later down the line. Alright. So we just need to mitigate their pressure, and we will win eventually. Our card advantage has now surpassed theirs significantly. Just slow the game down. Slow this down. We're killing the Kumano first, because we don't want it exiling, and this is getting a 1-1 spirit anyways. So... If I attack with Moon Circuit Hacker, they're never blocking. But then I have those threats. I need to stop their threat. Hey, Gatsmiths, how's it going? Um, we're doing a late night stream, trying to get used to this draft format. Um, we're just trying to survive right now. Um, Kumano faces Kakazan is going to turn this Cameo of Industry into a 4 7 next turn. So even if we don't get any value in our future plays, like. We should hopefully survive, that should hopefully allow us to survive its torment, and then we just win from there. This Bronze Plate Boar, though, is very threatening. Turn that into a 6-4. The question is, do I double block to kill it, or do I just... This is going to be a 4-7. Um, this allows me to... It does get rid of the Aki Ember Keeper, and forces them to spend their mana in inefficiently. I'll do it, but I'm not happy about it. This economy of industry is going to be imperative to surviving the coming turns. Disruption protocol behind it is very valuable as well. No creatures for Kunai, so we just move forward with our life. This comes in as a 4-7. It's an armed guard familiar, which attacks in for 2. If they're stupid, they block. They don't, because yeah, that sacrifices itself. So they should not block under any circumstances. They just take 2. I'm tapped out. I can't ninjutsu. Correct. Now I have this 4-7. I will be killing the blonde spike boar if you offer. If you reconfigure and get yourself a 4-3, I'm happy with that. Um, I could ninja's kunai equip and hold up both disruption protocol and the kunai itself, I think. Yeah, 
if I draw a land, I could land Kunai, equip to this to the etching of Kumano, kill all that, and then still hold up the disruption protocol. Because yeah, killing this bronze plate boar is quite valuable, and if I can do it while holding up disruption protocol, that's massive. But nothing of mine is an artifact creature, so I can't do it for two mana. It needs to be for the full three. So, if they don't have other threats, like, if they don't play a threat this turn, if they just reconfigure, I think I win the game from here. That's a threat from here. I think I have to kill the bronze plate boar to prevent it from equipping to the forest and running me over. Ooh, explosive entry, thank you. Made this so much easier on me. Alright, so I could turn this into a 5-8, which is basically unkillable. And then I could play Ninja's Kunai and still hold up the disruption protocol. Thank you. So destroy target one artifact creature. Destroy it. And we're gonna make this too big to kill. I don't see how you get out of this. You, there's no one mana play that solves this situation. We now get a hold up disruption protocol and wait for the, and basically wait for the late game to set in. And we are not attacking with economy of industry because we want to, um, we want to block this forest if they try something. They might have a combat trick, and Disruption Protocol stops the combat trick. I'm assuming they have a Voltaic Surge for my Etching of Kumano. Yeah, the fact that they had all those pauses tells me they have Voltaic Surge, which is a deal 2 damage spell for 1. So that's this card to the left, that's my read. Don't get too attached to Etching of Kumano. Attach this to Kami of Industry, I believe. Just make. Oh, no, we're going to. Kami of Industry already gets me a 1 1 if it dies. We're going to attach it to Etching of Kamano. There it goes. So if it. There we are. And we still hold up Disruption Protocol. So the longer this game. I think from this point, the longer game is in our favor. Though him getting. them getting card draw is pretty concerning. So now we can equip it to Aki Enver Keeper, attack with Etching. If they block, we sack to kill. I actually like attack with Kami of Industry. Um, put on the Aki Enver Keeper and kill it that way. Um, we do want to apply some pressure eventually. The question is just how. We will need the mountain eventually. They're not playing land, so they have cards. Um, we're going to leave it as is for now. We want them to run into it. We don't want to run into them. Oh, they were three color. That explains a lot. Alright, time to do it. So if they block with a 4 or 5, we use the Ninja Kunai to kill the forest. We can Disruption Protocol call any combat trick, so they need two, and then they're using two combat tricks to protect the force instead of killing the Kami of Industry, which holds them from ever playing the from getting in this game. Perfect. The entire time we're holding up Disruption Protocol, that's a win condition. I'm not going to allow their win condition. I think. Yep. 
because it's a win condition, I have to counter it. I don't like this counter. I will be clear, I do not like this counter. But I feel that is necessary, because we do need to win this game eventually, and that will eventually win them the game while stopping us from attacking with Kumano. We just need to draw, not lands. Alright, so I put the control, I'm putting full control on to make sure it looks like I'm holding up something if they play a spell. So it's like I'm considering my other counter spell. If they have whirling spin kick, they get a double kill. Double kill. But I don't think they get a double up on the Kami of Industry, killing that. Yep, playing mind games. I have to. Like, this is actually a really bad spot because I drew only land. If you control mana. Ah, uh, I see. Alright, well, they still can't attack with the forest because of the Ninja Kunai. Alright, they attack with the forest, anyways. Yeah, that's very bad, but now the forest is gone. The forest is wrecked. Awesome. I can't sacrifice this this turn because I won't have a play for it if I do. Like, if I draw Atsuchi or something, I won't be able to play it. I think that's enough of a cost that I can't do it. I think I offer the trade now while they have no combat tricks. Yep, I want them off the board. By the way, there are two, let's see, let me get the count. Two islands and five mountains left in the deck. We are at the halfway point of the deck, so that's actually just slightly above average. So we're fine. That's actually fine. Okay. Just checking. Do they have an artifact destruction? Do they have a burn spell? What do you got? You're hovering over my cards for something. Alright, we're going to start with this. Beautiful. Alright, here's my win condition. How do you respond? I can't attack because this thing does not have haste as vigilance. I'm not swinging a 2-2 two, two, and two, a 2-3. Two, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 10 of my 16 lands drawn. The percentage of lands is 33%, so a 1 in 3 each draw now. If I draw Tezzeret, I can immediately loot these lands for something better. They do have more cards, but their lack of playing tells me their lands. Um, there is a two damage spell there. I remember the two mana spell. If they attack, I might just triple block. Kami's player. Okay. That's a good card. If they attack, I will double block. Throw a combat trick at my, my way. Or get the highway. This is kills you in two turns if you don't kill me. And I find an answer to Air of Ancient Fane. Uh, I remember Kumano Master Yamabushi. Back when I was first playing Magic the Gathering, that was my first set, and I played a deck that the rare of the deck was Kumano Masi. Okay. Thank God they have no um, creatures with um, modified. Alright, thank you, Tezzeret. Neither of these are artifacts, so they're out of cards in hand, so they're literally just holding up Goro Goro. Alright. Let's plus and get these lands out of my hand and get some actual value in here. Alright.
We have four lands left in the deck. None of them are islands. Thank you for getting rid of those at least. That's right. If they drew if they drew a blank, we're okay. Anyways, this is why we kept the lands in our hand. Because we're able to loot like that. In this deck. No! Alright, so the 2-3, if it attacks my face, I just have to take it. Um, if they attack with Goro Goro, I will, I will trade. If they attack with just the Ancient Fane, I will take it. No matter if it's face or Tesseret. Tesseret will survive the encounter. So, yep, this is the correct play. Tesseret, please draw me actual cards. I would appreciate it. And we are going to discard two lands, just so just so everyone knows. I can practically taste success already. Um, yeah. And it only costs one to activate this ability because of Tesseret. So if they modify the Air of the Ancient Fane, I might have to just to me use completion the Goyo Goro. We're gonna leave the position as is. Well, two lands left in the deck. Alright, that's... I think I just tapped on the Air of Ancient Fane to prevent it from um, being an issue this turn, because that's all that matters right now. Just preventing ourselves from getting to three. But yeah. Four, ten cards left in the deck. Two of them are lands. We cannot use the minus six because it will lose us the game. We still have Atsuchi. We still have Twin Sniper, Circuit Mender, Modern Age. I have a little thing on the corner that tells me. Two Ninjas Kunai. A Voltaic Surge. We have options. We have cards. Your commentary is really nice because it's easier to understand what is going on. Thank you. I'm trying to do it. I know some people play the game, some people don't. Um, so Tezzeret, the minus six just gets us more card draw. We only have ten cards left in deck, and the plus one's drawing us two. So we actually only have like four turns, but this game shouldn't go four turns, hopefully. We're trying to keep ourselves out of a certain... Like, there are some cards that deal damage directly to the face. Like, Ninja's Kunai is a card that I have two of still in the deck that can deal three damage straight to the forehead. So I'm trying to avoid them being able to play that against me. We start with a plus one to make sure to see if there's any cards worth grabbing. Climb. Keep working. Two. Alright. The first ninja's kunai we're going to use to kill Goro Goro right now. Um Make sure it taps properly. And we're going to hold this land so we can discard it next turn. We have one land left in the deck. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. We, they have ten lands as well. We, we drew 15 lands. They drew ten. Um, but we've drawn through 11 more cards than them. So we actually are on the advantage state of this trade. Um... We are going to um, turn the Ninja's Kunai into an artifact creature to just attack them for 10. Or attack them for, for near lethal. Oh yeah, with this etching of Kamuno flipping, if they don't play something here, we minus 2, turn this into a weapon, and kill them. Perfect. Perfect. We can even sacrifice the Kunai if we need to to win the game. Alright. Minus two. Target artifact becomes a 4-4. Four, four. And they have eight health. This has haste. That theme came in last turn. So this is eight damage threatening. No if they block with a... If whatever their trick is is two, two health, we get a Voltaic Surge. If it's four health, we can Ninja's Kunai. We can sack the Ninja's Kunai to kill. 
So they need to have a kill spell of some sort. Seismic wave deals two damage to any new target and one damage to each. Oh, that kills the etching of Kumano. What's it targeting my face with? Are they hitting my face? Because if that if they are, that's they die. Okay, got it. All right, they're at two health. We have a Voltaic Surge, so if they have, like... There's a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four Haster, that's a rare. So I can still kill that thanks to Voltaic Surge. And otherwise, we are threatening lethal. And we just shock this naturally. And we give them a good game. Oh, wait. Okay. Submit zero. It's not canceled. Got it. There we are. They are out of cards. There's nothing they can do. We win the game. And just to make sure they know that they lost the game. Just show them that I had two Mythics. Just make sure they know that it was not their fault that they lost. They were facing a better opponent. I'm not sure that makes you feel better or worse. But I should note that there were six cards left in my deck at the end of that. Pwn goes first, so this two lands does not scare me. We got Kunai into Mobilizer Max. We hold up a Twin Shot Sniper. If we get a blue mana, we actually get a hold up the Disruption Protocol as well. Um, we get a channel if we need it so we do not have I don't care so we don't have a trigger for the second theme unless we have to top deck it I'm still playing it um, mobilizer mech is perfectly acceptable otherwise I do need to draw land Alright, so the only thing we know is that they the color is swamp. Alright. So I'm going to play Mobilizer Mech here. It does not get the um, trigger. I'm going to give them an oops. This is more mind games. This is me saying, hey, I thought that was going to get plus one, plus one counter, even though I knew it did not. Alright, so they have a 2-2 two, two flyer. We have a 3-4 flyer. Next turn, I could play Ninja's Kunai and still hold up Disruption Protocol. Or I can... And Twin Shot Sniper. Hey. Alright. Well, we have to use the Ninja's Kunai to kill that Bion Palm Ninja. Uh, that card's a monster. That card's an absolute monster. So... Yeah, Bind Palm Ninja. This card, if it hits me, it gets to it gets to Thought Seize Me. It kills a card in my hand, and then it's still 3-3. This card is, like, one of the best cards for Constructed. Limited. You got lucky gain here. Alright. So here's the question. Which of us can apply more pressure? You or me? Um, what time is it where you live? 10 p.m. Yes, we. this is a late stream today. This is a late stream tonight. Alright. So I want Sky Scrimmer to Koi. I'm wondering, do I want a Mobilizer Mech? It's 8, 7 a.m. Yep. A lot of my people um, watch late. I think I just stopped their aggression. I have card draw. I have counter spell. I think it's more important I stop their aggression than apply mine. Even though I could have evened the health pools really quickly. Um, they could deal 4 damage in a turn, and this stops it from dealing any damage whatsoever. I will be um, trying to trade with Mobilizer Mech over the Sky Swimmer Koi if they give me the option. Oof. Good job on their part. Alright, so their 3 4 can now attack, which means my 3 4 now is going to attack. So, this is an artifact creature, everyone. So the question is, do I hold up Twin Shot Sniper or Mnemonic Spear? Twin Shot can kill the Hoverbike when they try to crew it. I think I want Mnemonic Sphere. I can draw and discard a card. Well, actually, I can just... Yeah, I can't hold up Disruption Protocol anyways, so... And yeah, drawing and discarding is worth, even if it's just a land that we're discarding. Because it got that land out of the way, which from the last game you probably note, that's kind of valuable. 
If we need to, we can hold up all three of these triggers, basically. Alright. Smart. Nice. That was... I think they were trying to crew the high-speed hover bike, and that might have been a option issue on their side. But that was actually really smart. They might only call Anvil to just give themselves a 1-1. I'm going to play that and end my turn. I don't really need the Twin Shot Sniper right now. I get to hold up a Disruption Protocol. And if they don't play anything worth countering, I have Mnemonic Sphere Channel. And the Twin Shot Sniper Trigger. Alright, so they're dealing 1 damage, gain themselves a 1-1 one, one Colorless Token. Perfectly acceptable. I can actually play the Twin Shot Sniper to kill that. So here's the great part. As long as it taps properly, it does not. This is an artifact, so I can actually play it and still trigger disruption protocol. Kill the 1 1. Stop the Nicole Angel from getting any more value. Disruption protocol, they only have two cards left in hand, and one of them. I'm actually going to counter this because it's more card draw for them. Because they can use it with Oniko Anvil. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's two card draws. It's actually very powerful. And it's a... Yeah. That's actually extremely powerful, so I'm glad I countered that. Alright. And we're going to go into value game. I could turn this into a 4-4. Four, four. I'm going into value game. Decline... I'd rather discard two lands. Not play the Circuit Mender this turn. Because, yeah, because they have the only Coat Anvil, that's not, that um, Experimental Synthesizer is not only a card draw, it's also a token that they can constantly trigger with this, which this is a two-point light swing, which equalizes with this two-point light swing. So even though, like, I'm dealing more damage, it doesn't actually matter. They gave up because they don't have an answer to Tezzeret. They don't... And that value really scales. So, they're just like, I don't want to play through this. Alright, we have a Voltaic Surge, then an Aki Ember Keeper, and then another Aki Ember Keeper while being able to channel this if we need to, or just turn into card draw otherwise. Yeah, this is a great hand. Has good tempo, has card advantage, has creatures. This will probably kill their 2-drop. Alright. I'm going to hold up the Voltaic Surge, not play the Ninja Kunai, I think. Because they're going to play a 2-drop. We're just going to kill the Mothra Eye Patrol then. Who really cares about the rank anyways? Good matches are good matches. Exactly. And, like, I'm not... Obviously, I'm not the only person who, um... Does this, or else... You know, there'd be more... More people that... Why is... Oh, they had to buff something, and so the only target was me. That's funny. Oof. Alright. I'm okay attacking with this. Do you want to trade? I offer you an Ember Keeper. Do you want to kill an Ember Keeper? Alright. You say I saw the Irad's Prime video on your YouTube chat. And I was like, yep, I'm not being that my Prime on my New Game Plus. So you have to get to like New Game Plus 5 or 6 to even interact with him. But yeah, Irad Prime just like... The problem with Irad Prime is now every other Prime boss is compared to that, and they just don't match up. They don't come close. I'd like to draw a mountain, please. It might honestly be preferable to equip the Ninja's Kunai and just leave it equipped as my sacrifice trigger because I get two 1 1 spears because I have two Aki Ember Keepers. Oof. I'm scared to see Duval Prime. It's really cool. 
I will state it is really cool, but it's also scary. Do I want a Sky Swimmer Koi, or do I want... I can Minamonic Sphere, equip the Ninja's Kunai, and still hold up the Ninja Kunai. Um... Or I can play Sky Swimmer Koi. This is the thing that's just going to trade. And this gets me access to more card advantage later on. Equip one. We're just going to end our turn here. We'll see which is more threatening. The Agonjo Exemplar or the Portrait of Michiko. Because I will say when we kill this, this thing gets smaller. Alright. I'll kill Portrait of Machiko. Sure. I'll just kill it. I need the car. I need the advantage anyways. Uprising Winnegade is terrifying. I will not deny that. If this pumps it, it becomes like a five. Hey. Yes. This gets us more card advantage. So if they equip the Exceptional Katana, it hilariously actually does not buff its attack. It becomes a 4-5, which means I could double block with Aki Ember Keeper and Sushi, killing it. And they only kill one of my creatures. We are having these close games. No denying that. Yep. It's like double... I mean, if they have a trick to kill Atsushi, I'm okay with that. But you need it, because you need a trick now. Yeah, they're killing Atsushi. I gave it plus two, plus two. So I could have done that to triple block. No, I couldn't. That extra buff was completely unnecessary, but I'm happy they did it anyways. We're going to exile the top two cards of my library. So I just got card draw. Hey, perfect. Alright, so I can play this. Kill here. Play this. Draw a card, discard. Perfect. And now, guess what? This is four power and four toughness. So again, if they attack, they have to have another combat trick. Or it's just one for one trades. I'm not sure they realize that this is one for one trades. Ryu is much more the threat, but I can't do anything about that. Let's start with sacrificing this. Alright. Sky Swimmer Koi. We cannot block Ryu. This is now a serious threat. So we need to find a way to kill this now. Um, the reason why is now it's a 4-5 with first strike, and it's gaining two attacks in it on a turn. And because it has first strike, we don't actually kill it on trade. I might just sacrifice the Aki Ember Keeper to give myself another turn. Right here. I'm gonna climb, but it was a consideration. It was a serious consideration. Thanks, Lance. I really appreciate how often you arrive. Card. Card a card. Ooh. Alright. Lizard Blades. Can I equip that to something to allow this to kill? No. Um, not if he's smart. But I can equip this to make my Sky Swimmer Koi more threatening, which is good enough for me. So now I can equip this to my Sky Swimmer Koi. And attack for six. And now I'm starting to threaten my opponent. 
I could have equipped it to my sir. Yeah, so there's other things I could be doing. But right now, we just need to make sure Ryu doesn't kill us. Doesn't attack? Um, let's see. So that's... This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage. I actually... So we're one damage off killing him. Killing the opponent. If I played the kunai first... We have lethal three ways to Sunday. Thank you for not attacking. You just gave us more ammo. Alright. Now we just tap this, kill Ryu, and that's game. Well, they made a mistake there. Um, I'm not sure if they didn't make a mistake. I think they still will have lost. But they made a mistake there, and I took full advantage of it, and I'm happy. Alright. Kumano. Unfortunately, not into a creature, but I can go into modern age. I'll accept it. Kumano early is good enough. Yeah. Um, it wasn't as guaranteed because he would have gone, he would have killed one of my creatures. Um, it would have, I could have played around it improperly, basically. Mm, I have an, more blue than red. I'm going to discard the land because we're going to draw more land. Um, if we need to kill the Mothra Patrol, this guy's this one's going to be a creature soon. Um, we could just kill Kitsune's with it instead. Okay. Arm guard familiar. I could attack with Kumano, arm guard, and play the kunai. I think we get rid of the mnemonic sphere. We're good on card draw now. Um, either that or the Tamiyo's completion. I'd rather have the kills, the additional kill. Um, I think I want to attack and just play the play this in the ninja kunai. Yeah, I don't want to sacrifice the kunai just yet. So we're gonna, with three mana open, we're gonna attack to scare them. All right, they take the trade anyways. They have no fear Shakespeare. And now we need to draw land. This is the problem with the decision point I made. Because next land gets us Tezzeret, which once we have Tezzeret, this game flips over on its head. And it also gives us a kill spell. But if we don't get the land... We're just equipping the Ninja's Kunai to Arm Guard Familiar and continuing with continuing on with our lives. So this is not this is very much dependent on whether we get that land which we discarded, as well as the card draw spell. Very suspicious on my part. They have the card advantage right now, but we have the tempo. Do we have the tempo? We have more tempo. Alright. Thanks for coming by, Gatsmas. Feel free to come back anytime. I really appreciated it. We drew the land, everyone. We, I repeat, we drew the land. I kind of want to just minus and turn the ninja's kunai into a threat. Yeah. We have the tempo. Let's use it. And we still have a flyer to block the Moth Rider Patrol. If they have a pump spell, then it kills the Vector Glider instead of Tezzeret. We get to Mio's completion. Any big threats? Watch them play the Wanderer, and that's how they got to where they are. Yeah, this is just now a creature, in case anyone's wondering how that works. All right, we're going to start by flashing. Explosive. I mean, the mobilizer mech gives us 
Um, because we have to discard a card anyways. Um, giving us the mech gives us the land if we need it. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to attack with all, um, continuing the threat. Alright. They just realized they had no way out. And we just 7 0 our first draft of the format, everyone. We just 7 0 our first draft. Now, I will state, we had two Mythics in this deck. This was not just, like, some deck. This was... This deck started with a Tsushi, ended with Tezzeret. Like... This was a very powerful deck, everyone. But it did its job. I'm really proud of this. I'm really proud of this. Ninja's Kunai were as good as I thought they were. Voltaic Surge was as good as I thought it was. Kumano was amazing. Yeah, I'm trying... Mobilizer Mech, even without the crew, was good enough. Moon Circuit Hacker was good enough without the ninjas. Modern Age... My brother was correct. This card is great because the cycling is actually very important in Limited. So, yeah, you, yeah, Lambadroid called it that this deck was absolutely amazing right at the bat. Um, I can actually scroll the way up. Um, yeah, they were talking about the duplicates, Sokka. Um, I like this deck and you haven't even played a match yet seems insane. Insane in theory, I guess. So... Um, Lambodroid called it that this was an amazing deck. I did not expect... Even if this was an amazing deck, I did not expect 7-0, everyone. But we just had all the cycling when we needed it. Um, Aki Emberkeeper underperformed, but it was still a 2-1. Lizard Blades needed to get killed and actually won us the game against the Samurais. Explosive Fury. Explosive Entry. I think... From playing this, I think we can run two of these. I think you can run two of these. That's th So what I'm doing is I'm just game making sure I know everything that I'm thinking. To me, his completion went great. Tezzeret was more than good enough in this sort of deck, even if it's just double cycle and then turns every once in a while an artifact to a creature. Atsushi, of course, is Atsushi. Twinshot Sniper was fine. Armguard Familiar was never reconfigured. Okay, it was reconfigured once. But yeah, just a two-mana two-one. This actually underperformed, but still fine. Experimental Synthesizer, we just had it. Okay, it is worth knowing, we had a very aggressive deck, and we still only had space for one Experimental Synthesizer. Kumano was much better. Voltaic Surge was better. The Ninjas Kune, I think, were better, generally speaking. Mnemonic Sphere, I liked it. It did its job, and that's fine. Um, this energy of also being able to cycle is great. Yeah, is there anything that underperformed? Um, well, Aki underperformed. Circuit Mender did fine. Sky Siren Koi did fine. This card did great. The six health is huge. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I think every card in here performed just about how I expected. With a few cards like uh, Modern Age and Moon Secret Hacker performed as well as I thought it was, and I was high on it. Modern Age performed as well as my brother thought it did, and he was high on it. That was good. Explosive Entry is a two of. That was a surprise. Ninja's Kunai is as good as I thought, and I was high on it. Kamano Faces Kakazan was even better than I expected, and we thought it was pretty good. Yeah. It's good to know that sort of information for when you pick cards later. Anyways, we're going to pop open some packs, and then I think we're going to go to bed. Because we completed all our daily quests. We had three today, and those seven games cleaned them out. So... With nice cards. I I would talk about all the rares just to give myself self something to talk about, but I did that in a whole theme. So anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, I know not everyone likes Magic the Gathering. People are on my channel. Oh, hey! I love Kaito's story. I'd love to talk about it another day. But um, I know people are on my channel specifically for Rogue Legacy 2, but I just love this game. I, I'm addicted to it, okay? I have to be cautious because this is a game that will drain your money if you're the sort of personality in person who will spend money on games, but when you know what you're doing, this is super fun. There's a reason that I come back to this game, that the better player wins out while still having the variance so the newer players can still win. That's my favorite style of game. Um, anyways, yeah, once again, I like doing themes other than just Rogue Legacy 2. I do get burned out, as everyone does, if I don't get time to play other themes. But I think it's 
I think people are about to, ready for me to do it again. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day.